Yo, what's up, YouTube? Just Gaff here bringing us a brand new video up onto the channel. This video is going to be Dice just tweeted out. I know it's really early in the morning, but Dice just tweeted out. Uh, get ready for our reveal soon with a. I'm guessing this is. I'm not sure if this is the logo or not. But that and we have Dice Criterion, Dice Los Angeles, Electronics Arts, Gothenburg, which I don't know, an industrial toys. I don't know, but or something. And they just tweeted out this, and I was like, oh, oh, oh. They have a mobile, we'll just go through it. They have a mobile, they're working on two games right now. And, and one of them is a mobile Battlefield game. Anyways, okay, here we go. Hey, Battlefield community. I know everyone is wanting more detail about what's to come for this, to come for Battlefield this year. And I promise we have a lot to show you in the coming months. We're putting some things together for when we reveal the next generation of battle. And we can't wait to show you that you, we can't wait to show, we can't wait to show that to you all. But for now, we have a couple of things we want to tell you about. First, really excited to have the biggest Battlefield development team ever working on our console and PC game for this holiday season. And second, we have something very exciting to talk about on mobile, the return of All Out Warfare. 2021 is an, example, is an exciting time for us here at DICE, working with more world-class development studios with Electronic Arts. We have our biggest team ever on a Battlefield game, thank God, for console and PC, <laughs> our friends at Criterion and Dice LA are working with us on our shared vision of the game. Why? Wow. So, okay, never mind. Okay, that this is not Stockholm's not working on it. Nah. While the team in uh, Gothenburg is taking technology and the game to the next level, together we are creating a jaw-dropping experience for you to enjoy later in 2021. That's great. Where's the trailer? Anyways, we're daily. We're in daily playtesting mode right now, polishing, balancing, and making the best possible Battlefield game we can. I can tell you it's, it, it is a bold step. It has everything we love about Battlefield and takes us to the next level. Epic scale, all-out military warfare, crazy unexpected moments, game-changing destruction, okay. That's not necessarily evolution, but okay. Massive battles packed with more players and mayhem than ever before. All brought to life with the power of next-gen consoles and PCs. Hey, I just got my... I will show you guys if, I, if, it, if my green screen wouldn't mess up when I move my camera. I can, I can show you the controller, though. Ah, right there, baby. <clears throat> you know... You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get ready for the reveal soon with a little winky face. That's funny. A new Battlefield mobile game coming in 2022. Wow. It's also been our vision to bring Battlefield to more platforms, of course. So after years of prototyping, I'm super happy to be able to let you know our friends at Industrial Toys. I was right. Working closely with all of us here at DICE are developing a completely new Battlefield game. Wow. So it's not going to be like a... It's not going to be... I wonder if they're going to do the COD mobile thing where it's all the battlefields meshed into one. And then they can do a lot, honestly. Where's I at? Uh, toys. Working closely with all of us here at DICE are developing a new battle, a new battlefield game. Bring out all of Warfare smartphones and tablets. That's, I find that. Watch the. Bruh, if the tablet and phone game is better. Pff, I don't even want to. I don't even want to put that out into the ether. I don't even wanna, <laughs> make no mistake this is a standalone game a completely different game from the ones we're making for console and pc interesting designed specifically for the mobile platform it's being built from the ground up by itoys to make battlefield on the go a reality that you can expect a fully fledged skill based skill based experience <clears throat> the mobile game is now entering a testing period ahead of launching next year so expect more details to come i can't wait to show you the two battlefield games we have coming that's interesting in the meantime stay safe and play some Battlefield. Oscar Gabrielson, General Manager, Dice. Wow. So a mobile game. If if the if if the iToys or whatever their name, yeah, iToys is the main people working on it, and Dice is like has like just given them input, like, oh well, we like to do this and this mechanic, and as long as it's not taking away, for, which it's coming out next year, it's not like it's boom. We, well, we don't know when when it's. It might come out March next year. You know what I mean? As long as it's not interfering with the main, the PC and console, get that game, and it and it's gonna be a different game, which I find interesting. But at the same time, are we gonna have a situation? Are we gonna have a situation where, bro? I'm telling you right now, if that mobile game drops and it's better, <laughs> you know, you know that would be the most EA dice thing to do especially with your track record with the last game okay listen if you're watching this video i'm sorry i'm being honest i'm not up here to kiss your ass it, it, it is what it is but this is exciting news i'm i'm glad they finally tweeted something out i'm sure the replies are funny yeah <laughs> where trailer 
Yeah, bro, I'm telling you. But I'm glad they gave us something. I'm sure they've seen all the fervor. The hype is getting there. Um, yeah, this is definitely the biggest, the biggest, uh, yeah. I mean, look at all these studios. Dice, Criterion, Dice, Industrial Toys, Electronics, Arts. Is that a new studio right there? Because all the other ones. Because this is Dice Stockholm and then Criterion, of course. Interesting to note, they did not mention a single thing about a Battle Royale. They are keeping that on the low. I'm telling you, bro. We're not going to hear shit. You know what they might You know what they might do? You know what they might This is why I need a podcast. I'm about to start a podcast. I'm about to start a couple podcasts. You know what they might do? I think cuz you guys remember when Apex dropped? They dropped the trailer the day before the game came out. They dropped the trailer. I think if Dice was or if EA if they wanted cuz I think they can do this. I don't think they have to hype a bad BR out. BR up. I think you drop the trailer a, a day to a week. Not two weeks, not a month. I don't give a damn. A day to a week before the, the game actually drops. Before the game mode actually drops. They didn't say nay nay about that. They, they still haven't confirmed the setting. The set, they, they didn't confirm the setting. We do know we're getting two different games, which is interesting. Um, but I was just talking about this the other day on stream, how DICE needs to bring on another developer, developing team. Um, to work on other games, uh, other Battlefield games. And I didn't exactly mean a mobile game, but it's cool. Like, it's, it's all my mobile. They didn't say anything about the Switch, which I, which I, because that would be the mobile gaming, right? I mean, everybody's got a phone, but you would think the Switch would be, it's more powerful than, well, I don't actually, I don't know. I don't know. But uh, yeah, this is super interesting. Uh, we might get more in depth on this tonight during the stream, twitch.tv slash just gap or we might stream stream it here i don't i don't know but let me guys know what you th thought about the video uh <laughs> i just I, I i literally opened up twitter and saw that they tweeted out and i was like what is this and i went on there and uh boom yeah we got some we got some news we got some actual confirmation on some things and we're getting two different battlefield games so if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to like comment subscribe share with your friends it's been just gav guys catch you guys next one peace out girl scouts see ya peace out guys